You remember the story of that woman we shared last time, I think last week, the story of a woman that the husband got sick. The husband got sick because the wife had secret affair with her ex-boyfriend. And why the husband got sick was because the husband's tradition stated that if your wife goes out to have an affair outside your home and she cooks food and gives you, when you eat the food, you're going to be sick. So it happened in that family and the husband became sick. After all going up and down, the family interfering, no, nothing was happening. He wasn't responding to treatment until the father, being a traditionalist, came into the picture and they went, to, went in a traditional way to find out the cause of the sickness and the wife was caught. She confessed. She had the affair. She never knew that it would lead to such a thing. But there she confessed and pleaded. The family members wanted the man to send the wife back in. Remember the story? But the man said no. After the cleansing, the man took the wife and children to the city. There in the city, the man refused to eat the wife's food, refused to stay in the same bed with the wife for eight months. And the woman was, was going down in silence. Now we dropped the story and people were asking the woman to plead with the man. A lot of comments were dropped. Now I want to give you the update on that story. The woman was doing business. She had a very small business she's doing, opened for her by her husband. Now the husband has closed down the business. He closed down the business and asked her to stay at home, to forget about anything called business. Not just that. Remember the husband always keep quiet at home. He, does, he doesn't talk with the wife. He doesn't eat the wife's food. He doesn't stay in the same room with the wife. And it happened that the children were the only hope, only companion the woman had. Now the husband has removed the children from their school and sent them to a private school where they will have to live in the school, leaving only the woman in the house from morning till night. She can't go to the business area. According to her, in the business area, at least she can get herself distracted from thinking. And the children that were there for her, keeping her warm, you know, keeping her going, the children has been taken away from her to school. Now she's totally lonely, all alone thinking. And still the husband will not want to talk with her or sleep in the same bed with her or eat her food, you know, and the woman is just there. Whatever she needs will be provided, call it clothes, food, anything she wants, the money will be given to her. The man will give her the money to buy whatever she wants, but he doesn't recognize her as a wife more like a housemaid according to her she's even afraid of going to see friends because she doesn't know how the husband will react to that he just like to say that her going out is always timed according to her she can decide to walk out of that marriage but she still wants to hang around to see if things will work out and please she wants your advice on this matter whether to finally walk out of this marriage or to still stick around to see if things will work out well what do you think? Drop your advice for her in the comment section because she's reading your advice. Thank you so much. And if you want to share your story here on this platform, House of the Sons Global, please use my number on the screen to contact me on WhatsApp. And if you want to discuss anything that has to do with your marriage and your relationship, still use my number on the screen to contact me and I will talk with you. Thank you so much. And don't forget, this is House of the Sons Global. Bye for now. <laughs>